would be Alice Springs and the McDonald Rangers. So I have a little photo here of the McDonald Rangers. We did a hike. Like it's just dry and yeah, it was really, really cool to see Alice Springs and the McDonald Ranges. Also, we seen our first camel at Alice Springs. Um, and also the Devil's Marble. So that's actually before you get to Alice Springs, but um, amazing. Just you're just driving and it's flat and it's dry and then there's these massive, massive balls. The next place, it's just a formation of the earth that I had never seen before. So it was really, really awesome to see. And um, apparently it was underwater back in the day. And this is the canyon. So yeah, that was really um, scary. So we got to the edge uh, and you see, when we're standing up, because it's slanted, as you can see, you kind of feel like, oh, like, am I gonna fall? But yeah. We didn't because we're here, but yeah, it was really cool. So that was awesome. Uh, Uluru. And I've also got some footage. So James walked up Uluru. I chose not to. I just walked around it and it was amazing because there's all these formations around Uluru, around the rock, um, and one that just was bizarre to me. It literally looked like a wave, so like, it was like that on the side of the rock and yeah, it looked like a wave. The Car Hills Crossing in Kakadu National Park is the next highlight. So this was going um, north from Uluru. This place is incredible. I don't have footage of the crossing because we just didn't have our phones on us. We just like parked the car. We didn't know what to expect. And we just walked over to this crossing and it was just mind blowing. Like there's people everywhere and there's crocodiles everywhere. These crocodiles, so what they do is they just flow over the crossing. So this is a crossing, this is a crocodile. Its head faces this way. Um, and its tail just kind of like wags to keep it in position and it waits for the barramundi and they just open their mouth and they just wait for one to just flow on down the river just into their mouth so 
Yeah, smart creatures. We went on a tour um, in the national park, a crocodile tour. I'll cut to a clip of some footage. Uh, this is a natural thing, and these guys, they do it from 20 centimetres long straight out of the egg. They're jumping for butterflies and crickets. Here we go. Here we go. This would be a good one. You want to get to the number of about 66. Oh. Up one side. Oh. He's angry. Good boy. Here we go. That was a really good one on this one. He's going to get his pork chops. Yeah. <laughs> you guys seen her out there in the back? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's just got a hold of it. Hold on. You going to hold on, mate? Yeah. And now the next highlight is the broom. Art. It is art. Like. Every colour you could think of is in the nature in Broome. I loved Broome. That's some footage of Cable Beach. Uh, my boyfriend and I got to put our finger in a camel's mouth and it sucked on our finger, so yeah. So this is us suck boarding. Here's some photos of the colors. So that's obviously the red, but when you put the red with the blue, it's just incredible. Here is a sunset. The next one is one of my favorites, X now. Absolute favorite. Oh, X now, I don't even know what to say. It's just amazing. The um, Ningaloo Reef, World Heritage Reef, is there. Exmouth is just a small town with a massive, massive coast. Um, and you can just drive the whole coastline. Um, you can snorkel off the beach. Whale sharks at Exmouth, the humpbacks. I've got a little bit of footage of the coastline, so I'll show you. Um, and this random sheep. Uh, dingoes. town uh, yeah they just walk through the town casually like we were just at this park and it was a residential area and it's just yeah in someone's backyard What's in the town? are you hungry you must be hungry Have a sunset 
photo of X now. So the next place would be Coral Bay. It's the smallest little town, like tiny. Um, and basically it's just this bay of coral. Uh, the reef sharks come in the bay to breed in the breeding season, so that's cool. Uh, we did a little tour. Um, we hired some sea scooters, I think that's what they're called. Uh, we went a few kilometers off the shore. <laughs> but um, we, we basically went out to see this massive rock of coral underneath the ocean. Uh, they called it Uluru because it's a massive, massive rock. Here's the rock like half underwater. But it's just like crazy, like you never see just like a massive rock of coral, like Bizarre. Uh, and brain coral too. Like, look at that. Brain coral. Brain coral. Crazy. The next highlight would be the Pinnacles at Cervantes. It's called the Pinnacles Desert. And um, yeah, it's a desert out here. The coast is here. And you can see the ocean from the desert. And it was really, really cool. Um, I have a photo of me in the desert with the the mounds. I think I don't know what they're called. They're like little formations that apparently come from under the ground and upwards over the time. You know, over time. So here we are. But they're small ones, like they're really small formations around me. There was massive ones, like there was absolutely massive 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 one so the last highlight for now would be margaret river very green very beautiful very lush uh we started to see wildflowers so like um not just like little tiny flowers like these are like amazing beautiful flowers that you would see in a florist shop uh just in the wild like a huge field of them like huge field of white flowers yellow flowers red flowers, purple flowers, like massive flowers, beautiful flowers, heaps of horses, heaps of green grass, um, a lot of vineyards. Uh, here's a photo of me in the green. That's it for now and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that you are having a good day, good night, whatever it is.